post? You did. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Now we are, we're all official now. Ms. Gomez, put the attendance form in the chat. Ms. Marin, it's all yours. Welcome, everybody. I sent the reminder meeting link because the link changed. Hopefully, we get some more people back. All yours, Ms. Marin. Thank Morning. you. Could, could you make me co host, please? Yes. And so um, also, Eric and Marin, Luz. Ms. Collins. Um, Luz. Okay, Luz, can you pause the presentation, please? I'm trying because to. Because I'm connected with my phone. All right. Oh, what was that coming? Realize I was on mute. Give me a second. Yeah. Oh, I opened the minutes. Give me a second. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the translators did not show up. Um, Ms. Gomez. We're going to try to, yes, Ms. Gomez um, on the chat can try to. Um, Can you for for us? Yeah, they, 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 we paid for it, but I think the link change messed things up. So thank you, Ms. Gomez. Um, thank you, Farni, Farni, for being here today. Uh, today is a beautiful day. We hope you enjoy the time off, the time off for our students. And um, today we are going to have a uh, presentation we have uh, uh, a lot of information for you until 8 30 we're gonna be uh, from now until 8 30 um we hope you come back to our next meeting as always um the second slide we show uh, to you the executive board members our executive board members we have a uh, loose we have uh, maria sanchez as a president um Maria Yushida, as acting secretary, Luz Gomez Treasure, Nora Trejo Treasure, uh, Ms. Fazili um, as a vice president, and myself as a president. Now we are going to check the agenda. Uh, we are going to show to you the treasure report, the PA minutes, and um, for those, we would like to part at least two parties to approve them. And uh, you can put your name in the chat and uh, your son name. Then we're gonna have some speakers, Mr. Jackson, as always, we have Mr. Jackson, our principal for Navigation High School. Then we're gonna talk about uh, the nominated commitment and uh, the nomination for the next executive board, nomin executive board board. And um, we are gonna have uh, some information about SLT and Title I. And then we are gonna have Ms. Board that is gonna be talking about Willis. Uh, okay, we can we can go to the next slide. Um, somebody uh, can pull it up the agenda and the minutes. We are gonna check the minutes now, and um, I'm gonna transfer over Maria Sanchez. If uh, Maria Sanchez is there, this is um, pretty yes, much the Mary. minutes we did on March sixth. Team, and the recording is on the school website. If you want to see what we talk on that day, you can go to the school website and you can see the whole video for that night. Um, Miss Lee, can you put it out there? Wow, you guys collected 790 minutes, euros. please. Nice. Can you put it out the minute, please? Okay, talk a little bit about this and then two parents can um, post it. You give me a um, second, I could actually, I could actually um, add them to the, uh, to the, um, to the chat. 
Yes, just since I'm sharing my screen, it's a little difficult. So I'm gonna add the treasurer's report so that everybody could uh, approve it, take a look at it and approve it. Uh, the agenda. Estamos hablando un poco de Gracias, Mr. Jackson, por su producción. Uh, nada. Thank you. Eh, es, Gracias, Google. Es, gracias, Mr. Jackson y Google. Está, eh, Mr. Jackson acaba de colocar en español, wow, uh, lo que estamos haciendo. Entonces, um, uh, estamos hablando acerca de los minutos y lo que pasó la reunión pasada en, en marzo 16. Y si ustedes quieren ver el, um, toda la reunión de esa noche, pueden ir a la página web de la escuela, que allí está eh, el recording, la, la grabación de, de esa noche, uh, que está muy interesante. Ahorita vamos a chequear los minutos. Por favor, dos padres pueden colocar su nombre con apellido y el nombre de su hijo. Lo mismo, necesitamos al menos dos para la, los minutos y dos para eh, el financiero, el reporte financiero. Eh, la señora Luz acaba de colocarlos en el chat, colocó los tres, la agenda, los minutos y el reporte financiero. Entonces ya veo a la señora Daisy que está colocando su nombre. Gracias, señora Daisy. Por favor, nos coloca el nombre de su hijo o su hija en el chat y nos dice, eh, esos son para los minutos. Estamos recibiendo los minutos. Daisy Hernández, de Belva Rodríguez y David Tipot aprobaron los minutos. Ahora, muchas gracias. Eh, Daisy Hernández, si puede colocar el nombre de su hijo, por favor. Eh, ahorita vamos a pedir dos padres que, por favor, aprueben los. Uh, y la señora, bueno, no sé, pero uh, ahorita vamos a ver el reporte financiero. Los minutos como ya están en el, en el chat, lo pueden mirar. Ya tenemos la aprobación y los minutos. Uh, Luz, could you please talk a little bit about the um, finance report? Sure. Just uh, trying to get this going with all the stuff that's popping up on my screen. <laughs> Too many information on the top. Yes. So um financial report just pretty much as you guys can see you guys can take a minute to take a look at that we've also added it to the chat so you could actually um you know just review it uh um uh, you know in detail if you'd like but year-to-date total expenses we've had a 1334 with 11 dollars uh which has which has us uh, year to date with $4,966.83. Just bear with me because I think my computer is a little delayed. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Erica. Easy way to donate. Cuando que teníamos en marzo primero $5,508.94 en el banco. Tuvimos unos gastos de mil dólares y 334 dólares con 11 centavos. Ahorita, al 31 de marzo, tenemos 4 mil 966 dólares con 83 centavos. Eso es el reporte financiero. Tuvimos unas donaciones solamente para abril. Este, tuvimos más, pero, perdón, para marzo. Subimos más, pero solamente vamos a contar lo que pasó en marzo. Eh, perdón, en marzo, sí, 792 dólares. Eh, ahorita, si Luz quiere hablar un poco acerca de, de CEL y que es el siguiente slide, Luz is going to be talking about CEL and uh, the other donations. Yes. So, again, um, you guys uh, should have received several emails, you know, giving the great news. <laughs> uh, you are now able to donate um, via CEL which a lot of parents were, um, you know, were asking about, which so we're very excited that this is now a way that you guys could actually donate and help us, uh, you know, get all the, um, the money that we like to 
to be able to do all the activities that we are planning for the remainder of the year. Uh, one of those major and most important ones are graduation and the scholarships um, for our senior year. As you can see, I kind of put a little, you know, kind of how to uh, go in into cell, but I think most of you know how to do it. Just kind of details as to what you should be putting. First name should be aviation, last name should be high school, and the email that you guys should be using is the um, schools uh, that NYC email for uh, the aviation PA. And then the reason should just be PA donation. And as always, you guys can actually uh, also print out the form from the website and uh, fill it out and send it in with your, your child and have them put it in room 135, which is across from the parents coordinator's desk. La señora Luz estaba hablando acerca de las donaciones. Eh, tenemos un nuevo método en, cual, en el cual ustedes pueden hacer donaciones y es a través de CEL. Pero ya sabemos que ustedes lo saben usar. Sin embargo, pues les le recordamos que pueden colocar el nuevo contacto. Eh, escogen la palabra negocio o business. Luego le colocan en el primer nombre aviation. Y en el, en el segundo nombre le colocan high school. Y cuando le pidan el email, colocan el nuevo email que tenemos para la parte financiera que está aquí, que es el D24Q610PA arroba school New York City punto com. Y si pueden, colocan una observación que es una donación para la asociación de padres. Todavía no estamos eh, o necesitamos su ayuda en cuanto eh, a dos importantes metas que tenemos como todos los años, que es um, la scholarship, dos, dos um, uh, becas que damos o una, una ayuda que damos a dos estudiantes, al mejor y al de, de mejor rendimiento y también la graduación. Eso es algo que estamos haciendo desde hace dos años eh, y nos ha ido muy bien. ellos les ha gustado mucho el tema de la graduación y para este año tenemos muchos, muchas ideas para hacerlo y queremos el soporte de ustedes. También pueden, en, si no, pueden hacerlo por CEL. Simplemente en un sobre de carta pueden enviar la donación a la, habita a la habitación 135, que es donde está la oficina de la coordinadora de padres. La, la caja queda al lado del, del escritorio de la coordinadora de padres. Si se les hace más sencillo, en una hoja colocar su nombre, teléfono, y si quieren hacer un tiempo de voluntariado, lo envían con su niño a esa habitación. Pueden enviar efectivo o un cheque, como ustedes desean. Eh, cualquier dólar es bienvenido. Any dollar count. So we are receiving donation for the graduation. This year we want to do something bigger for them. So we hope uh, to get more um, donations. And the next slide is going to be talking about those donations that we have been receiving by cell. Luz, you want to talk about this, please? Oh, sorry about that. I was talking on mute. Um, so coming in big, you can see uh, we have we had quite a few donations. Uh, That's awesome. Yes, for uh, the end of March, which is when we started sending out the whole uh, email about the cell, the great news, and a lot of you cooperated. So we definitely really really appreciate it. We have uh, Ms. Roberta Wolf Wolfling, who uh, donated another very 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 generous um, donation, and then we have. Um, Ms. Lisa awesome. Lamb, Mr. Roy Hardy, Elena Descalu, Jillian Sowell, Nefertiti Leach, um, which were our top, top donators. And thank then we you. have, um, I'm sorry. So thank you. Yes, thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Uh, Maria Alvarez, Gracias. Nefertiti Leach. Oh, I think I put that in twice. Nefalston Say Say Day, Bernalini, Bernali. Veggie Veligia Panchame, Ivana Prismak, uh, Joanna Contreras, Maria Vasiliu Rosos. I hope I didn't, um, I apologize if I didn't read your name correctly, but total donations since we started the whole uh, cell. In addition to, I think it was one donation via uh, the form sent to school, were a total of 1,137 for the end of March and uh, beginning of April. 
Wow. So, um, yep. Yes, wow. Wow, wow. Um, voy a traducir un poco en español y, y rápido. Estas son las donaciones que hemos recibido con el nuevo sistema de, de CEL, uh, a excepción de uh, una persona que hizo una donación en cheque, que, que las demás las recibimos um, usando el nuevo método. Eh, las señoras que... Los padres que donaron fueron la señora Roberta, Lisa, Roy, Elena Dascalu, Gilia, Nefertiti, María Álvarez, la señora Celeida, eh, Celeida Bernalí, Ivana, Johanna, María. Uh, y me disculpo si no los leí correctamente, pero de verdad le damos las gracias porque nosotros estamos aquí para trabajar por los estudiantes de forma eh, voluntaria y gratuita, pensando en ellos y también en ser la, la, la representación de los padres. De verdad, hacemos, eh, agradecemos este gentil um, detalle que hemos tenido. Hemos tenido donaciones muy grandes eh, y también de todo tipo, pero todas han sido muy valiosas para nosotros y de verdad les agradecemos mucho su apoyo. Gracias. Sí, y dejarles saber que todavía necesitamos su apoyo. Yo sé que parece un número grande, pero en realidad con los costos que se van para la graduación, con la, las becas y la ayuda que hacemos eh, en la escuela en otras áreas, en realidad el dinero se va, se va rápido uh, y nos falta bastante. Entonces uh, los animamos a de que nos sigan ayudando con cualquier, con cualquier cantidad. So I was just saying... Um, We, though we really, really appreciate the uh, amount of uh, donations we've received uh, with March and April, uh, we still need your help. It looks like a great, you know, great and a big number, but uh, with the costs and expenses that are coming up for, like I said, graduation and um, uh, the scholarships, uh, it's going to go really fast. So uh, we, we, need, we, we need your continued support in this area. Sí, lo puede. Yes, you will be able to send it right now. If you want to do it so, you can do it now and you will see it now. Eh, hay una pregunta en el chat que si pueden donar ahora, que eso es fantástico. Muchas gracias. Y sí, si pueden donar ahora y lo vamos a hacer, este, vamos a hacer este, capaces de verlo ahora a través de CEL. Um, Pregunta que, que dice que si la cantidad ha sido mayor y la verdad sí ha sido un poco mayor porque es la, el primer año que tenemos CEL. Normalmente las donaciones eran eh, muy pequeñas, pero como dijimos al, al inicio, fueron bienvenidas en su momento. No teníamos graduación para los estudiantes. Ahorita tenemos graduación para los estudiantes y como mencioné anteriormente, se va a hacer una fiesta más grande y ellos realmente lo valoran, se toman fotos con sus papás, los papás también se acercan a veces debido a que son 400, más o menos 400, no sé si estoy mal, me estoy diciendo, pero como 420 estudiantes, pues el dinero era limitado y lastimosamente no podíamos darle a los papás, esperamos este año que con las donaciones que obtengamos podamos pues al menos extenderlo a los papás, pero lo más importante es que se toman fotos con el principal, con todo el personal de la escuela que están disponibles en ese momento. Hacemos un, un lugar para fotos, para momentos de fotos, con bombas, y es un momento memorable que les queda a ellos como un presente de parte de, las, de, de la Asociación de Padres. Y que le damos también las gracias a Mr. Gasto porque él nos... Um, nos apoyó para hacer esto posible desde hace dos años y al equipo que estuvo en el año um, 22 y en el 2021. Muchos papás de verdad trabajaron muy fuerte para esto, para que esto fuera posible. Y le agradecemos a estas personas, a, a Imelda, a Elena. Mm, ahorita puedo que no me acuerdo de todos, pero de verdad muchas gracias por hacer esto posible. Y esperamos que continúen cada año uh, con esto para ellos. Luz, no sé si quieres traducir en español, en inglés. Two hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was. That, um, this activity graduation, the student graduation is something new. 
we started since two years ago and uh, we, we started with a little a little uh, celebration and we just did it for a student they were happy taking picture with their parents with their with their uh, staff um, school staff and also mr jason we did a special uh, place with uh, balloons for them to take pictures and um i think it was something uh, amazing for them and they are going to keep for them so this year we would like to do something bigger Okay, um, Luz, uh, okay, um, this is what we have for this uh, month. May, we're gonna have the sip and pain. If um, we are on the sip and pain, on the last sip and pain, this is a picture for with those parents who were there and um, son student. So, we are calling you to, to come. It is a nice moment to meet the school, to meet the, the principal, and also to have a, a shorter trip around the, the hangar. So, and also it was a special moment because uh, it was close to um, Valentine's Day. Um, everybody enjoy also. We will have a... We were planning to do the Mother's Day, but um, we moved the Mother's Day celebration and we're gonna do something called Family Day celebration. And uh, the day is gonna be determined. We are gonna let you know when it's gonna be. And the donation for the um, uh, Family Day celebration will be $20 and for the sit and pain will be, uh, if I'm not wrong, it will be 15. Luz, can you? Um, Yes, that's yeah. correct. Um, it's going to be uh, $15. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be a bring your own, bring your own food, um, you know, bring your own non-liquor, <laughs> non-alcoholic drink. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you, you won't regret it. We had a lot, a lot of fun. So we look forward to seeing a lot of you guys there. Yes. Eh, estaba diciendo la señora Luz que pueden traer su comida, puede un compartir eh, lo que ustedes deseen para este día y aprovechando también que es un um, es, es dos días antes del Día de las Madres, pues los invitamos para compartir, para hablar, para disfrutar el momento de pintura. Aquí, pues la mayoría decía que no sabía pintar, pero al final hicieron unas obras de arte. Si lo pueden ver en la foto, quedaron hermosos todos y todos son ganadores. Pero además de pintar, tuvimos la oportunidad de conocernos, de compartir, de hablar de nuestros hijos y de verdad es un hermoso momento para uh, tener contacto con el lugar que es una segunda casa, eh, lo que es la escuela para, para nuestros hijos. Eh, en algunos casos puede ser hasta su única casa. Entonces, eh, de verdad los esperamos el 12 de, de mayo. Eh, pueden hacer el, eh, su donación, es, es una donación, esa donation, en eh, a suggested, a suggested donation. Um, y we are going to receive it that day on May the 12th in the school. And uh, I, voy a decir muchas gracias a Sunny Sai porque esto no lo hicimos solo. O sea, Sunny Sai está eh, patrocinando, es el sponsor de esta actividad y de verdad también le agradecemos a Community Services, Sunny Sai Community Services y a la escuela por hacer esto posible. Lo empezamos, este es el segundo y fue una gran oportunidad. Uh, Ms. Marin was thanking um, Sunnyside Community Service for their continued support in all these events. Um, and we definitely appreciate your uh, support and making, you know, the uh, sip and paint and other events possible. Okay. Um, the next one is going to be, uh, these are the announcement for the coffee with the principal. Tuesday, May 9 is going to be from 10 to 11 and Wednesday, June the 7th, from 10 to 11. Also, it is a moment to meet with the school staff and with the principal in the room 140. Um, we, um, Luz, regarding the book club, Luz is doing, is doing um, the leadership for this book club and it has been amazing. Um, 
the next one is going to be the last session. So thank you for those parties who has been attending this book club. And thank you. Um, la señora Marín está hablando de la, lo, las fechas que quedan para el café con el principal. El próximo, la próxima reunión es el 9 de, de mayo a las 10 de la mañana hasta las 11 de la, de la mañana. Es un momento eh, muy bonito para compartir con el principal y preguntarle, eh, you know, de, de temas que quizás no se pueden hacer en la llamada como hoy. Uh, él toma el tiempo de mostrarnos la escuela y, 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 y se da uno cuenta de en realidad lo que lo que pasa a nuestros hijos durante su día. Entonces, en realidad los 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 uh, los esperamos y en realidad los, los motivo para que vengan. Eh, estamos teniendo el, el club de, de, del libro que estamos leyendo, que es el alquimista, el Al the alchemist. Y este viernes es el, el, la última reunión que vamos a tener eh, a las seis de, de la tarde. Okay. Um, there are other activities that are part of the Title I. Um, Title I is um, a money that is uh, provided by the federal um, support. So right now they are doing yoga class. And the next one is going to be on April the 27th at 11.45. At 11:45. Also, um, if uh, Miss Lee wants to talk about the Mets College Prep Day, please. Uh... Thank you so much. Um, today we actually had our yoga, and we had a couple of new faces, which was wonderful. We hope to see uh, more of you today. We had Jay as our instructor, and gotta say, I sweat myself out that day. It was pretty good. Um, we hope to see you there. We only have two more of those, and then we'll be doing Zumba in the afternoons after this. Uh, May 1 is College Prep Day at the Met Stadium or City Field. Um, at 10 o'clock, the doors open and they do college fairs. They do workshops on how to prepare your child for, for college and um, tips and then Kaplan is there. And so if you want to attend this, um, please scan or take a picture of or a screenshot of your screen right now and then you can click on that link the right one um, to let me know that how many tickets you're interested in having and um and your email so that i can send you the tickets we only have 25 tickets left so please let me know and it's first come first serve and then we'll be um in may we'll be having parent workshops more about communication and awareness and coaching for your children and then um, chess and Zumba coming up. So really exciting times. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, La I'm gonna Ali. turn over. No, no, no lo quieres decir okay. en español. La sí. señora Ali está hablando del, eh, de los eventos que vamos a tener. Eh, bueno, hoy tuvieron un, eh, una sesión de yoga que estuvo muy, muy, muy bonita. Uh, estaba diciendo ella que se alegró de ver nuevas, eh, nuevas caras hoy. Y los, las próximas quedan sola, solamente dos más eh, estos próximos jueves. Este jueves que viene, que es el 27 de abril, y el jueves que, que viene, que es el 4 de mayo. Y después de eso, eh, habrán eh, clases de, de Zumba. También estaba comunicando sobre el evento de los Mets. En este momento tienen 25 eh, boletos para el juego de los Mets, que es el primero de mayo. A las 10 de la mañana es un evento para para ayudarles a cómo preparar uh, para la universidad a los papás. Es un evento para los papás de, de cómo eh, preparar a los hijos para la universidad. Ese evento empieza a las 10 de la mañana y sigue con el juego de los Mets, que es a la 1 p.m. Si están interesados, en este momento pueden tomar una foto de su pantalla y le pueden mandar un eh, correo electrónico a Mrs. Lee. Ahí dice a, a, a h s t i t l e 1 a gmail.com y le pueden deja, dejar saber cuántos boletos necesitan y se comunican con ella y ella va a hacer que eh, es posible que le llegue los, los boletos. Ok, thank you. Now um, I'm going to transfer the floor to Mr. Jason, our principal. Thank you. Hello, everybody. 
I will do my best to not ramble on so that you can, I can stop and have you translate. Uh, but I hope everyone had a wonderful spring recess, happy Passover, a wonderful Easter. Um, everyone that's celebrating the end of Ramadan tonight into tomorrow, I hope you have a wonderful Eid, so Eid Mubarak. And that's why we have the three-day weekend this starting tomorrow. Um, but overall, it is amazing that it's now April 20th. Once we get past spring recess, the time is going to fly. So I have some minor updates, just some calendar updates and some other things to tell you about. Um, you want me to pause right there and Ms. Marin, you okay translating or Ms. Gomez? I know if I keep going, it gets hard to translate. Or do you want me to not bother? You guys okay? All right, so I'm gonna keep going then. Sorry about the translations, everybody. I think the change of Zoom link messed things up. Um, so we're into the last few weeks of the fifth marking period. Uh, I got to say your children have really been focused and uh, aware that they really need to, to batten down the hatches and get their work done now because Mr. Of Jackson, two marking periods. Yes. Can you give us a time because Luz and I were going to be trust, trust, okay. trustless. Okay, I'll stop right there. Yes, and I couldn't get off of mute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> So I'm going to start first. Uh, Mr. Yates estaba diciendo que muchas gracias por estar aquí, um, que espera que hayan tenido un descanso agradable durante la semana anterior um, y que está muy contento porque el clima ha cambiado mucho. Ah, para mejorar, claro, pues si es frío está bien, pero cuando está más caliente, mucho mejor. Um, y que ha estado muy contento de ver esta semana a los estudiantes otra vez y mañana estarán libres por, uh, porque se está celebrando el, el, uh, la parte de Ramadán con la, la parte islámica. No tengo un poco, mucho conocimiento, pero mañana es su último día. Ese, el día de mañana celebran en grande porque después de 30 días de no comer, literalmente no comer desde que sale el sol hasta que se oculta, eh, van a, a celebrar y es una rutina espiritual que ellos tienen que, son, es muy sagrado para ellos. Entonces mañana es el día libre para ellos. Luz, gracias. Uh, yes, so a couple of updates and reminders. Please, if you have not filled out the learning environment survey yet, parents or students, that's still available till tomorrow. Uh, it's on our website. And parents, if you, when you complete it, have a screenshot provided to your child that can be given to your child's math teacher for extra credit. Uh, but okay. We appreciate your, your input on those surveys. Okay. Eh, el señor Jackson pide, pues, si no ha llenado todavía la encuesta, pueden ir a la página de la escuela y hacerla, que es muy importante para la escuela, tener la retroalimentación de ustedes a través de, de esa encuesta y cuando la terminen, tomarle una foto y enviárselo al, um, al consejero para pues tenerlo. Pero yo, yo lo hice y no le tomé la foto. Sorry. Pero para uh, eso que lo tomen, pueden enviárselo a, a su consejero. Ok, mis hijos. We had yesterday, we had career day. So that's not the career fair we've done in the past, which we'll bring back next year. But uh, career day <clears throat> was where we had about 100 visitors yesterday, most of them graduates, uh, most of them from the airlines, but not only, right? So we had technicians, many of technicians around yesterday, dentists, lawyers, pilots, uh, I can't remember everyone, engineers, FAA. So that's a day where we have graduates, friends of our school, industry people, or even just professionals across the board that sign up and come in and speak to our students about the various career paths. So that was a wonderful day yesterday and they really loved meeting your children. They were really impressed with the ninth and 10th grade being so inquisitive and having many questions. That's great because many times the ninth and 10th grade, a little more quiet. So they were much more okay. inquisitive and uh, had great questions for our visitors. Okay. Yes, I'll be conscious of <laughs> I'll try to, I'm going to try to summarize everything. Uh, Mr. Jackson está hablando de que ayer tuvieron un día muy, eh, muy especial, que fue el día de, de carrera en la escuela, en cual vinieron muchos uh, 
muchas personas eh, gra graduados de la escuela, etcétera, y diferentes, eh, de diferentes áreas de carrera, pilotos, eh, eh, de diferentes áreas. Y estuvieron hablando con los estudiantes y estuvieron muy contentos y muy impresionados por eh, los grados de noveno y décimo, que el interés que demostraron y todas las preguntas que hicieron. Uh, y fue un día muy, muy, muy bonito para todos ayer. So hopefully your children have some good reports on that. A um, couple of things too we have coming up. Now, like I said, the end of the marking period is two weeks from yesterday. And then we're into the last marking period. So we're going to have a lot more tutoring. It's already started. Both our staff and Sunnyside Community Services providing tutoring after school and on Saturdays and test prep and mock regents and so on. So that's that's now the time we're into for the past month or so and into all the way through June, because the end of June will be the state exams for most classes. So freshmen don't take too many regents exams. They take at least math and science. The sophomores will take math, science, and global history. Juniors will take English and global and potentially math, well, math and science also. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the really the June mostly is state testing. Once we get past June 14th, it's all state exam time. So we're going to be helping prepare for that. The classes are going to start doing more review of the, for that in the next few weeks. Um, so we're getting into those final stretch of this, what, last quarter of the school year. That makes sense. <laughs> this comment. Uh, Ms. Marin, do you want to translate? Sí, sí. Um, Mr. Gatson estaba comentando que teniendo en cuenta el día de, de ayer hacia adelante, faltan dos semanas para que termine el periodo eh, académico en el cual pues los evalúan. Eh, también menciona que Sunnyside Community Services, que son eh, un equipo de apoyo para los estudiantes eh, están dentro de la escuela y tienen un programa para los estudiantes en donde le dan apoyo a aquellos que lo necesitan y si no lo necesitan y quieren mejorar más también pueden esa habitación esa esa habitación está ahí en la escuela y están disponibles para darle apoyo a sus hijos sobre todo eh, que ya se acercan en junio eh, los exámenes regentes eh, el 20 de, de junio y pues eh, otros exámenes como matemática y ciencias eh, en donde pues eh, se evalúa cómo, cómo les ha ido en esa materia eh, pues es importante que tomen ese apoyo Luz, ok Great job by the way. <laughs> um, I know Ms. Borg from Counseling and Schools is going to go next, so I don't want to. I don't want to always ruin her timeline. So I'll be really quick on the last few things. Um, do what you need to do. Say what you okay. need to do. <laughs> I know we always push you further back, so I don't. I don't. Anyway, um, the 25th next week we have Endeavor Airlines coming in. They're going to be talking to our students. Boeing is coming back. They have been super impressed with the school. They're coming on June 1st. And la próxima the, semana, la, compa la compañía de aerolínea de Endeavor van a venir, así mismo como con Boeing. Están muy impresionados con la escuela. Um, addition to that, we have any parents that are of seniors uh, and fifth year students. The May 22nd is the qualifying exam. So all your children should have been submitting their documentation uh, to Miss Yen in room 113. So the 22nd is only for seniors in fifth year. That's the FAA test that we provide in internally to make sure students complete our program and are ready for the written exam and the oral and practical exam. Mr. Jasso estaba diciendo que el 25 de mayo, 25 de mayo, correcto, Mr. Jasso? 22 o 25, 22nd, yes? Yeah, sí. Right, yeah. El 22 eh, será el examen de, de calificación de la eh, federación Nacional de Aviones, que es un examen importante porque le evalúan los cuatro años de estudio y es un examen en el cual deben presentar la documentación necesaria, como el pasaporte eh, y el ID como para prueba de dirección. Ok. There's a few other senior dates, but I'll go over those in the future. We know about the graduations on the website. We have the Six Flags trip. Uh, coming up in June 14th. So there's things like that that are coming up. Um, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll meet with the seniors and go over that, those information again. 
I don't want to take too much time up. I'm always available though, email, come to the school, come meet with me, call me. Email is the easiest because I can get to that any time of day. I am definitely here for you and I want to be very conscious of our guest time throughout the night, but I'll be here tonight if you want to stay at the end and ask me any questions as well. Mr. Jackson está hablando sobre unos eh, paseos que van a estar teniendo en el mes de junio. Uno de ellos va a ser a, a Six Flags. Y pues dice que él va a hablar de eso más eh, profundamente con los, eh, con los seniors, con los, de, con los que se van a graduar. Y que como siempre, si tienen alguna pregunta, que va a estar disponible después de, de esa llamada. Oh, one last thing. Um, we, you, I don't know if, you're, if you remember, we have been looking for a parent coordinator. We found one. That person's in the process of being hired right now. So we hope the next week and a half they'll be able to start. And that'll be a great benefit to this parent community and all of us to help with the coordination of all these events and information and outreach. Lo que ellos estaban buscando un, un coordinador de padres que ya lo tienen afortunadamente y que comenzará aproximadamente dentro de una semana y media que la persona que está eh, será la encargada de, pues, de enviarles toda la información que tiene que ver con todos estos eventos y ella estará en contacto con, con ustedes. Yes, but things are going well. Days are getting brighter, days are getting longer, so I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful end of the school year. Ok, si todo está bien hasta ahora, eh, van a tener un excelente eh, cierre de año. Um, ok. Thank you. Ok, Mr. Jackson. Uh, you would uh, like to transfer. Yes. Ok. Um, we are going to make it shorter this part uh, because May we will have uh, time to talk about this, but uh, now. We would like to, to talk about a little bit about nominating commitment. The nominated commitment is a group that, um, that is um, between parents and three or to five parents can be part of the nominated commitment. Um, they know, what is the, the work that they do? They just organize everything that is related to nominations and elections. Um, it, uh, it is a great experience to be part of the nominating commitment. And uh, at this moment, we would like to, uh, to call for uh, two or three parties who would like to be part of the nominated commitment. If you don't know anything about it, we are gonna explain you uh, what are the responsibility, uh, what are the steps that we are gonna take during the elections. So if you would like to be part of this, you can put your name on the chat. I, uh, I wanna be part of the nominated commitment because uh, I won't be next year, so. So Ms. Marin, what you're saying is, in addition to people that want to run, you need a committee to help organize the election, right? Yes. It's kind of a way to have like, multiple people will be checks and balances in this process. So any parents that want to help with the process, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want a time to think about it, you can email us. Está hablando la, la señora Marín de que esta es la temporada de cual estamos buscando un nuevo, un grupo para ayudarnos a nominar eh, nuevos padres para la temporada eh, ejecutiva de padres de Asociación de Padres para el año 23 a 24. Si quieren ser ustedes parte de este grupo de, eh, para nominar y buscar el nuevo grupo de, de padres para el nuevo año, por favor pongan su nombre en el, en, en el chat y, y, o nos mandan un email. El email es de 24Q610PA a schools.nyc.gov. Lo acabo de poner en, en el chat. You have a volunteer. Lady Q would like to help. That's great. Awesome. 
Awesome. Do we have any other parents that would like to volunteer at this at this time? If not, like I said, uh, you guys can um, email us. Como dije, ya recibimos un, a una, a mi, creo que es una mamá, eh, para ser parte del grupo de nominaciones, para elegir a los padres para el año que viene. Y eh, estamos buscando a más padres. Y como puse ahí en el, en la, en el, en el chat, ahí está el, uh, el email electrónico donde pueden mandar eh, su información y, y así podemos comunicarnos con ustedes. Muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. ¿Hay algunas preguntas? Eh, hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Eh, disculpe, acerca de, por ejemplo, para obtener información de la graduación. Yo tengo un niño de, en el grado 12, es de los que se van a graduar. Y, por ejemplo, eh, okay, ella hizo los pa el pago de, para la graduación y el pago del baile. Uh -huh. Pero, eh, por ejemplo, estoy viendo ahí que creo que parece que tienen que comprar una camisa para el uniforme. Okay, so, uh, Mr. Jackson, she's asking a question regarding um, questions uh, regarding graduation fees. Yeah. So, she said that her, her daughter already made... Um, payment for uh, graduation and she's asking something about a shirt they have to purchase a shirt yes so that is in our school store that's in room okay. 108 okay. i don't remember the exact cost it's not it's a blue shirt okay so everyone's going to be wearing the same shirt for graduation yes our tradition is different we've been 87 years of our school we have a, a uniform that looks more like Air Force uniform. That's blue okay. shirt and dark blue pants. The okay. shirt and the ascot are available in the SO store. That's in room 108. Okay. Eh, le está diciendo el principal Jackson que eh, puede ir al, al eh, su hijo o hija pueden ir al, 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 a la habitación o cuarto 105? 108. 108, 108. Y la pueden comprar allá. Dice que sí, que es una tradición eh, en la escuela que todos los muchachos usan eh, esa camisa o playera, como le quieran decir. Y, okay. y si sí, pueden ir allá a comprarla. Él dice que no sabe exactamente cuánto es que cuesta, pero no es mucho. And oh. um, Miss Aiello will go around to classrooms usually to, to sell it as well. Miss oh. Aiello también está trayendo a, a las habitaciones de los, de los que se van a graduar y la va a estar vendiendo. Y, y los, okay. uh, yeah. los uh, because uh, my son is graduating, I just want to inform her that uh, they were there last year selling already the shirt and the little kind of a thing that looks like a scarf that they have to put on a neck. Yeah. And adding to that, they have a lovely, very, very lovely pins uh, that uh, they, yeah, they sell to yeah. put, yeah, they put on a shirt. So a total with the shirt, if she wants a pins, uh, depends how many pins she wants. I got about a four pins, the shirt. It came out about a $60, but because really? I picked a lot of pins to put on my son, my son's shirt. The pins, it's uh, represent the Air Force wings and uh, uh, senior, junior, you know, per grade. So it's, 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 uh, if you can get the pin, that would be very good too. That part's not, yes. So it should be $20 for the, excuse me, for the shirt and five for the ascot. So that's the minimum. If you want to add the patches and stuff, that's that your child will take care of that. They like to like- $20? Um, pers personalize. What's that? $20? Yep. Está diciendo el principal Jackson que eh, cuesta 20 dólares la, la, la camisa uh, para la graduación, pero también tiene la opción de comprar eh, pines y parches que no son mandatorios, pero a los muchachos les gusta comprarlas y como, como, como ponerlas, eh, eh, lo que yo les gusta. Eh, okay. Y sí, tienen esa opción, pero no es mandatorio. Entonces, way, depende, dep depende de la cantidad que elijan, pues you know, cambia, cambia el precio de la camisa, pero la camisa cuesta 20 dólares. Okay, I know it's a little different, and parent, parents of younger children, I know it's a little bit different than cap and gown, but don't worry, I, it's a wonderful, beautiful ceremony that's really unique. And that everyone remembers for the rest of their life. So it's going to be a wonderful event. 
It's very, it's very, it's very aviation side. <laughs> Dice el principal Jackson que no es su grabación típica, you know, con, el, con, la, con la gabardina o no sé cómo se dice exactamente, que les dan en otras escuelas, pero que es bien, bien uniformada, muy especial y que es una grabación que se van a, definitivamente van a acordar para el resto de sus vidas. Sí, perfecto. Y ¿Eh? una otra pregunta acerca de, del baile. Eh, diga? Por, por ejemplo, eso es especial para los niños, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, el baile es para, para ellos. She's talking about the, the dance. End of, I guess, is there an end of your dance? Oh, the prom. Yes, the prom. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Tell you what, there is a prom June 6th. El 6 de junio va a ser el, el, el prom para It's ellos, eh, la fiesta. Ok. Y, por ejemplo, eh, ellos tienen que hacer algo June especial, el, la vestimenta. Bueno, sí, yo sé que tienen que ir bien arregladitos, presentables para que para que puedan disfrutar y todo. Pero, por ejemplo, eh, yo he visto últimamente que han subido videos donde los niños tienen o la, los niños tienen que llevarle las, unas pulseritas, unos arreglos de flores a las niñas. Eso es, eh, sinceramente, eso es algo personal, si quieren, no es, no es, no es. Pero usualmente sí es una tradición. Yo me acuerdo que cuando yo me gradué, sí, me, me dieron una, eh, la venden, es, son como unas pulseritas con, de flores. Y usualmente sí es una tradición que la pareja o el muchacho, y no necesariamente quiere decir que tienen que ir con alguien. Uh, hay muchos, eh, you know, eso sí van a ir con una pareja, pero no es algo obligatorio. Y definitivamente, you know, si quieren ir solos, pueden ir solos. No tienen que ir con pareja. So, may I suggest okay. we uh, hold the rest of the questions till uh, the end okay. so we can get to Miss um, Borg. Okay. En este momento vamos a, a dejar el resto de las preguntas para el final de la presentación para que puedan hacer el workshop de esta noche. Uh, Ms. Borg. Okay. Gracias. And I'll put my email address in the chat if you want to contact me directly. Y el principal va a poner su correo electrónico en el chat por si cualquier cosa lo quieren, eh, le quieren mandar un correo. Y como, y como sabe, estamos acá eh, nosotras del, del, de la asociación de padres que hablamos español y cualquier pregunta la pueden mandar a, a, al correo de, de, que puse ahí eh, antes. Gracias. Responderle a la señora Rodríguez que tiene dos preguntas. Y es que sí, sí, señora, recibimos sus, los 50 dólares, dos consignaciones. Um, muchas gracias. Ya las recibimos en, a través de CEL. Uh, would you mind um, stop, stopping sharing the screen so I could share mine, please? Okay, great. I was just moving to a spot where I have light. Hi, everybody. Good to be here again. I see some familiar faces. It's nice to slowly get to know you all as a community. Um, it sounds like you have a lot of end of year business. Um, so tonight, as in response to that, we're going to be doing a little just self care and wellness. It's hard to do that. Um, in general, uh, because life is busy and demanding, and it's hard to do that at the end of the school year, um, especially. So before we begin, though, um, you know, if you are comfortable putting your cameras on, and um, if you're able to, um, that would be wonderful. It's great to see faces, and it's great to, um, you know, speak to people, but if you can't, I understand. If you can, thumbs up. Thumbs. Wonderful, thank you, thank you, that's great. Oh, more and more faces, how wonderful, how wonderful, how great. Um, the second thing I wanted to ask is uh, what's going on? What do you, what's on your mind? You know, if, if there's something in particular aside from business that you sort of like have a general question or a comment, if, If you can recall what our last workshops were about, about empathy, and you wanted to make a comment before we sort of get into our uh, wellness activities and discussions, um, I just want to hear from you. Take a moment to sort of like go back in time and give you a chance to speak. Está diciendo la señora Borg que, you know, que espera que todos estén bien y que quiere saber eh, cómo se sienten en este punto, cómo están. Dale un momento para expresar lo que están sintiendo, cómo están y pues si quieren 
pensar un momento eh, sobre el, el último workshop que hizo ella, que fue de empatía, eh, lo que se acuerdan de eso, etcétera. Y en este momento, eh, sí, darles el momento para que puedan poner en el, en el chat cualquier, you know, cualquier eh, sentimiento, cualquier cosa, o cómo están, cómo están hoy. And if you don't feel like it, you could always just put, you know, a thumbs up, thumbs to the side, if you have your camera on, thumbs down. Um, just a little emoji reaction. También pueden usar las reacciones eh, en la parte de abajo de, 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 eh, de la pantalla. Nos pueden dar un dedito hacia arriba, un corazoncito, una carita de sonrisa, eh, como se sientan. All right, cool. I see a few thumbs up. Um, great. All right, so let's get into it. Um, <laughs> uh, we are going to do an art activity today. It's an art and mindfulness activity. Um, it is, you know, used in art therapy and we are counseling in schools, but it's also super easy and you could do it on your own and I'm sorry, I'm hearing a little feedback. Um, so I'm just wondering if, oh, Ursula, thumbs down. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, for the moment, if somebody, if, if you can mute yourselves, I know I always like to hear from folks, um, but there is, okay, great, thanks. Whoever, whoever it was, I appreciate it. I was hearing like a TV or something. Um, All right, so we are going to be doing an art activity, but before we get into that, let's just do like a little stretch. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, if that's if that sounds good to you. A little stretch and a little like, you know, space in the in the in the joints. Nos vamos a estirar un poco en este momento, darnos un 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 la oportunidad de poder estirarnos un poco, y luego ya va a demostrar un eh, algo sobre arte, como un momento artístico. Okay. All right. So just wherever you are, if you need to push away from a table or something, wherever you are, just take a breath in and reach up. And if you're able to turn your hand inside out and push the ceiling, great. And if not, no problem. And just get some space in your spine. My spine just cracked. And bring your shoulders down and keep your hands up and keep your hands up and stretch. If you can straighten your elbows, I know we all have different abilities and flexibility. If you try to get your arms as straight as they can go and if they can't, that's fine, just to create some space. All right, yeah, so take, a breath in. Uh, take a breath in and just lean to one side. And stay here for a little while. Breathe in, out. And on the next breath in, come up and lean to the other side. And come up again and dive your arms out. And if you've been in some of my workshops before, you know I like to keep my arms stretched out and my hands flexed, like I'm pushing a wall away and see if you could bring your arms behind you as much as possible. You could even bring your head a little forward. All right, and bring your arms down and let's just stretch out the neck. Lightly pull your head to one side. And very gently roll your head forward and slowly. And bring your chin to your chest as much as you can. And if you don't have any neck problems, if you're able to, see if you could just very gently rest your hands on the back of your head. And gently bring your head up 
We're gonna repeat on the next side. So if you went to your right, um, we're gonna go to the left. So just bring your head to one side and gently you could pull your neck if you have no neck problems. And gently roll your head forward. And again, just rest here with your hands on the back of your head. And now bring your, take your hands off and just roll gently from shoulder to shoulder. Don't bring your head back. We're just staying forward and to the side. and come up and just shake out your hands. If you recall, I like to get heat in your hands because we use them all the time, especially now with cell phones running our lives, we neglect our hands. So rub your hands together and get some heat in your hands. Oh, that looks like a good yawn, Gloria. That's exactly what we wanna do. We wanna get things moving through our bodies. See if you could like shake your arms and just get blood moving in your body. And we're gonna be drawing, so let's stretch out our fingers. S stretch your hand forward, pinky, ring finger, middle finger, pointer, thumb. And I like to take these two middle fingers or you could take your whole, um, all four and push them back. And now bend your hand forward and stretch the opposite muscles. And you could even give your hand a little massage. All right, see if you could roll your wrist. If you have wrist problems, obviously don't do this. Um, let's get the other hand. Pinky, ring, middle, pointer, thumb, and then two fingers or all, whatever works for you. And now stretch the top. These are neglected muscles. If you don't feel something here, you're doing a great job taking care of your extremities. Most of us feel some sort of stretch here. And roll your hand. All right, so are we a little loose? Let's just do one big swan dive up with a breath. And let it out with the noise. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do that two more times. Ready? Breathe in. <clears throat> and one more time. <clears throat> and at your own pace, do a few chest circles. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you look a little confused. So basically you keep your yourself in your seat and it's like you're drawing circles with your chest parallel to the floor. Let's go the other direction. And someone's having fun in their chair. That is awesome. You might <laughs> not be warming up your spine, but you're warming up your heart. And that's what this is about. All right. And now just give yourself a shimmy. Great. All right, so how are we doing? Thumbs up, thumbs down, or to the side in terms of energy? Like, was that a good reset? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just share my screen. And, um, oh, can, my, can I share my screen, please? Um, we're going to do something called um, alternate nostril breathing. Has anyone heard of that? You could put it in the chat. You can put it like, um, you could say it out loud, turn your mic on, you could just show me. Has anyone heard of alternate nostril breathing? Gloria, you have the right idea. So we're gonna use one hand. Uh, okay, the village uh, hidden in the memes, okay. <laughs> um, so whoever that is, that's a great name, I don't, know who you are or what, but the village hidden in the memes is a great name. Um, so we're, uh, 
if I could share my screen, that would be great because then folks could see, but I could just keep talking. So alternate nostril breathing, it's a, a, a method of yoga. Um, and it basically, we all know that it's good to breathe through our nose. Some of us, myself, are mouth breathers, which is not so great. And um, thank you very much. And um, so alternate nostril breathing means that for just like the next two minutes, we are going to breathe from just one nostril at a time. It's gonna feel weird. It's gonna be maybe a little difficult, but, um, but maybe we'll feel something afterwards, okay? So you can close your eyes if you wish. Um, you don't have to, of course, it depends on what you're comfortable doing. But if you are in a place where you could close your eyes, uh, do so in a moment, but I'm just gonna demonstrate. So as you can see here in the illustration, you could do it with your pinky and your thumb, or you could do it with your pointer and your thumb. You could do it with whatever fingers you want, but you wanna just sit in a relaxed position. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate. So I'm closing my right nostril with my right thumb right now, and I'm gonna breathe in through my left nostril. I apologize if the sound is going to be disgusting. As I said, I'm a mouth breather, so I really need this. Um, so I'm gonna breathe in. And at the top of my breath, I hold and I switch nostrils and I'm gonna breathe out through my right. At the, when the breath is done, I'm gonna breathe in. Hold, switch, out through the left. Does anyone have any questions? Anyone wanna turn on your mic? Do you want me to stop sharing the screen so you could see more clearly? Are we good? Okay, so great. Okay, so we're gonna do, that was one round. So in, out, in, out is one round. Let's do like, let's see how we do. Let's close our eyes. It's 746. Let's just do like a minute of that. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many rounds we do. Maybe it's not a full minute, but we'll see. Let's try to do like five rounds at least. I'm going to walk us through the first and then I'm going to stop talking. So in, switch nostrils out through the other. In through that one. switch and out through the other. Let's keep going. All right, some people have hung in there. Some people have quit. How was that? You could turn on your mics. Was it weird? How do you feel now? Yeah, it's harder than I thought. It is. Let's do like four more rounds and then just bring our hands down and take a few regular two nostril breaths together. Let's try it again. All right, hands up and I'm gonna go in. Out. In. Out.
And now let's just take three regular breaths together. All right, so anyone wanna turn on their mics and throw in the chat sort of how they're feeling? Are you hot? Anyone have any thoughts? Like I hated that and I'm never doing it again? No, I just feel fine. <laughs> Different. Different in a good way. Did it open up your nose a little bit? Yeah, it actually did. Right. Because you're forcing almost the same amount of air through one nostril as you would through two. And so it clears it up a bit. All right. I know it makes me hot. It like, you know, raises, raises the temperature. And the village hidden in the meme says they like it. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So, so like I said, we are going to do something called a mandala today. So um, how many folks have heard of a mandala? You could turn your mics on. Anyone? Okay, so a mandala is basically a, it's a circle. It's a drawing of a circle. And what's cool is that even though it seems very simple, like, all right, whatever, it's just a drawing inside of a circle, having that space contained on a piece of paper is sort of like a representation of yourself. So um, we have a little history here. Would anybody like to read that so that we're not just, you know, in the Brooke show? All right, I accidentally turned off my video. I apologize, there we go. Um, okay, so it's an art therapy practice that comes from um, Carl Jung and represents sort of our unconscious, unconscious. And some things to keep in mind is, you know, focus on the moment. This does not have to be a beautiful work of art. Um, you know, you can go outside of the circle. This is your mandala. Um, and yeah, just, um, just be sort of in the moment. So I've got something in the chat here. Okay. So does everybody have a pen and a paper? So grab a pen and a paper. I'm going to give you a moment to do it. Um, going to stop sharing, give folks a minute to do that. It, and it does, you don't have to get art supplies. It could be anything. It could be a notebook. It could be a receipt. All right, so, all right, awesome. Everyone have something? Cool. The instructions are really simple. I'm going to put on some music and we're gonna take like, you know, six minutes. So very, very simple. It's the end of the year. Well, it's not the end end of the year, but we're gearing up for the end of the school year. Everyone's super busy. There's, constant information that's coming our way. Um, so we're just gonna imagine that there's this difference between our inner world and our outer world. So first things first, draw a circle. So you could just freehand draw a circle or you could use um, you know, a cup or anything you have near you, but just quickly or slowly, whatever you want, it's your mandala. Draw a circle on your piece of paper. 
Great. All right. So let's imagine that the inside of the circle is you. Whatever's on your mind right now, whatever represents you, things in your control, things that you can control is something that, you know, I like to start out, but it doesn't have to be that either. And outside, um, draw or write things that are present for you, meaning like whatever's on your mind, but might seem out of your control. These could be like things that you want, things that you, you know, aim to do your goals, but they are not 100% dependent on you. So um, just gonna play a little music here. This is something that uh, I really like called Wait, gooey music. Um, can everybody hear it? Is it too loud? Okay, so let's take like... All right, let's take like five minutes and um, we're going to do inner world, outer world, and I'll see you in a bit. Some words that you don't pay are doing, I just do it because everyone does it. Why don't we speak up? Then we'll lose our voice. Is this the case? Can it be your you could also write words it doesn't have to be drawing it could be words it could just be colors it could be scribbles it could be symbols
So let's give it like another minute. All right, so we lost some cameras, that's okay. Um, so would anybody like to sort of share what they thought? You don't have to share your mandala, but share your thoughts on, on making that. Can I? Please. Okay, so my mandala, I just painted blue inside because I think at my age, I already reached part of what I want. And the outer part is just a little thing, a little thing that I still want to accomplish. I don't know, and I painted brown because the idea is still immature, like, like when you plant a seed, then it has to grow until it reaches the sky, which is blue. I mean, I, I'm, I'm already in the sky, there's many things that I have accomplished, but I still have this one little one that is still in, in a seed condition, hasn't grown yet. I love that symbolism. So you used color as symbolism and like metaphor, like the seed for the things that you're starting and haven't done yet. And the sky for like what you've reached. And yeah. you know, that's fantastic. And what's also cool is like, you know, it, it, like literally the sky is around us and the earth is like inside and you've put the sky inside <laughs> of you. And that's that. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Since I can't see most faces, would I, oh, okay. Thank you, Luz. Um, anyone else? Sort of like, how do you feel? How was that? I I always feel surprised after I do a mandala because I'm like, all right, fine. Like, kind of like, ugh, another hippie exercise like I'm too smart for that and then I like look down and at the end I'm like oh man this is what's on my mind right now or like this is what I can do like you know so I'm I, I'm always surprised by it so does anybody else want to sort of share uh oh, your inner I share my mandel yeah. I want to share my mandel my goal yeah you can see uh, you can see here I write my goal for this summer, my boys together, we have a new baby dog. And I want all my boys together and enjoy the summer, a lot of food. This I share with you guys. Happiness for everybody. Thank you for you sharing. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, okay. And the and the inside the inside of the circle was there something on the inside? No se ve. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, wonderful. And I like the way that looks inside of the circle too. Like the words inside of the circle being contained. Very cool. Um, I'm going to share some other questions. Um, Yeah, so, oh, 
All right. So what is, does anybody want to share like something that came up that surprised them, like something that they see in their mandala? Um, you don't have to share it on the screen to show everyone, but you could just like write it in the chat. Like, what do you see? I see, um, it just kind of helped me put some things into perspective. So like some things that I try to control, but are not in my control. So I clearly, I know, <laughs> I know I can't control it, but I seem to let it control me sometimes. Ah. Oh. And so if you're wondering what that is, it's traffic. <laughs> <laughs> right. So was that on the outside of the circle? That was on the outside of the circle, but it made me realize how sometimes I let it take control of me and how I feel, maybe how I react sometimes. Mm. And it kind of like, just kind of like, okay, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Something simple, but it's kind of like, I can't control it. But sometimes I think I can, you know, by honking or by whatever it is that I'm feeling at that moment. And I clearly don't have control about it. I mean, you can control it to a point, right? So, you know, you can leave earlier. Right, that's a possibility. So you're not, but sometimes like like today when I went to see Mr. Jackson at the at the coffee with the principal, I was like super on time. I left 45 minutes early and then there was an accident on the expressway. And I was like, ah. So, you know, yeah. yeah. But that's interesting. That's some that sometimes the things that we can't control end up controlling us. Um my mandala has time outside of it. And there's like a little drawing, like the things I can control. I'm a pretty strong person. I can control what I say. Like a little time. Time. Time is on the outside. And I I get so upset. It really does. And to remind myself, like I can't control the passage of time. I really can't. I could just be a strong person with my values. So that's that's like I said, I'm always surprised and impressed with mandalas. Um, anybody else? I want to be respectful of the time. I know everybody logged on, you know, over 90 minutes ago. Um, and I, again, I lost some cameras, so I'm just hoping that this was, you know, pleasing and sort of a good break for everyone from like the hubbub of the day, like the circle space on a page of doing a mandala is, is for you. And, um, you know, it is, kind of stopping time and giving yourself like just that little intimate circle to put your thoughts and even organize them and see things that you don't even realize you might be feeling. Um, Mr. Jackson, did you make a mandala? Oh, I'm sorry, I got a phone call during that time. Yeah. I disappeared, <laughs> I, my apologies. That's okay, that's okay. Um, but again, I want to be respectful of everyone's time, and I think you have more things to cover, right? I don't remember the next the parts of the agenda. No, really, we just need to do the raffle. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Well, yeah. folks, it's it's always fun to join, and um, thank you so much. And um, you know, mm. as always, I'm going to put my email in the chat. And we have um, a ton of resources. And actually, if you just give me one more moment, even if you know drawing or you know writing or journaling or or those kind of self care activities are not your thing, um, it could be a fun thing to try, even with your kids. Even if you're just like, hey, like let's take five minutes and do this thing. I'll trade you like. Pass me your mandala, what came up? And it could really be anything. It could be what's on your mind. It could be inner outer world. It could be, you know, whatever that might be. Um, you know, uh, things I like, things I don't like, things that, you know, I'm passionate about right now, things I used to be passionate about when I was younger. It can be, and it doesn't even have to be inside outside. It could just be, I'm going to doodle inside of this circle. And it's a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit magic. So could create some symbols. You could just like, you know, like Gloria did use color. Um, and I posted a link in the chat for a mandala exercise. You could download it, print it out. Uh, if I have teachers or school staff in here, you could use that and uh, with students. 
Can you? Any, any questions or anything before I head so out? Could you go over to us and uh, we will post in the school website. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. And if you were wondering if you liked the music, it was gooey music and it's like, a, it's just really good to get work done to pay bills, write, make mandalas. I'll also share that. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Brooke. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna have uh, the Amazon gift card and Luz is gonna do it. We ready, Luz, for doing the Amazon gift card? Um, yes, just bear with me. I'm having some technical difficulties. In the meantime, if anybody has any questions for Mr. Jackson, right, uh, this is the time while I get yes. this set up and do this. Si tiene algunas preguntas para el principal Jackson en este momento, tienen el 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 La libertad para hacerlo. And there's more updates, right? I'll think of some stuff too. <laughs> My brain has been really tired this week. I'll just, I'll just, you guys need some time to get this set up, right? Yes. All right. So I'll just vamp uh, until someone has a question. I hope everyone had a good vacation. Your children seemed to have a good time. And then we all came back tired, which is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's nice to have a three day weekend. And again, those that are celebrating uh, Eid. I think that started already, right? Or soon, soon enough. Um, what else? We have summer school we're planning. It's going to be at our school. We are going to have a few of the schools here, but not the exact same schools as last year. Uh, hopefully, your children don't need summer school, but we do know there's students that need to make up some of the shop classes still. So it's less than last year, but we're almost caught up completely. We have the younger students making up some shop program courses. So that's one thing. Um, what else? We have sports awards uh, in May, so it's a nice time to celebrate all the different teams and all the different awards they receive. Um, let me see what else is going on. Prom we mentioned before, but 120 seniors signed up already. Prom is awesome. <clears throat> it's a beautiful night. We have the senior hoodies have been coming in. The second batch, I think, is coming came in today, if you ordered those. Oh, student government elections. If your children are interested in running for student government, Ms. Aiello has been setting that up. So that's coming up uh, very, very soon where we, we the students themselves vote and elect their student government representatives. They help with the events, organizing events, helping Ms. Aiello as a coordinator of student affairs. And they meet with me on a one monthly basis to give me input and ideas. And we work together on some stuff. Um, Thank you, parents. By the way, I should thank you, thank you, thank you for your contribution to the um, Teacher Appreciation Day next week, which is where teachers get like a nice lunch and a gift. Um, in the library, we all meet during different lunch periods, and it's a nice day to take a pause and celebrate our staff. So thank you for contributing to that. I pay a big portion of that as well, and so do some of the, I mean, sort of the assistant principals. Um, so all together, it's really wonderful that we can do that for them. And the biggest thing is, Time's going to fly. So stay on top of your children. Make sure they get the work done and they're studying because we have a few more weeks to go in reality. But as I said to people yesterday, I think we're saying that too much because we're going to keep saying that and it's going to seem so long. So we have, uh, what, six weeks or so. Uh, it's going to be a lot of different things going on, a lot of fun. And then we get ready for next school year. If any one of your friends are new parents next year, or new students, I'm going to write a message this weekend to, to welcome them. And we're doing orientation on June 8th, Brooklyn Queens Day. Sure. Um, <clears throat> so June gets pretty busy because that's the prom night before Brooklyn Queens Day, day that day. There's the senior barbecue on the 14th, FAA assembly on the 14th. Oh, wow. Six Flags the 15th. Graduation's the 23rd. The award ceremony is 22nd. So it's going to be a Many, many activities. Any other questions or? Oh, we're ready for the raffle. Yes, my internet all of a sudden decided to be very, very slow. So that, that took longer than it had to. No problem. I can so, keep, um, I, was his, I was a social studies teacher. I can talk and I can talk. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel and um, see who our winner is tonight. And if it, if it's anyone that's won in the past, we will, um, you know, spin the wheel again. Kamari Sriram Prasad. <clears throat> you still here? It's okay, we'll reach out to them via email. Okay, great. Congrats. And then that's it. Thank you so much for everyone um, who stayed <laughs> up until now with all of us. And uh, anything else you want to say, Ms. Marin? Yes. Por estar con nosotros esta noche hasta el tiempo de las 8.15. Thank you for being here today. Our next PA meeting will be on May 18 at 6 30 and remember we have a sip and pain on may the 12th we're that gonna say that, that was a lot, of, a lot of fun last time yes a lot of fun and a beautiful uh, picture so come and uh you have any question email us and thank you so much for being here today good night awesome thanks everybody. Everybody. thank you Ms. Collins, thank for you so much thank, thank you, you. Right. i have a question Please. Yeah, Ms. Uh, Rodriguez, yes. Yes, um, and it is regarding the, this, I think it's a SIP program regard, uh, for summer jobs for the kids. Oh, SYEP, but, yeah. E, yeah, and I, and I saw the school, like, taking part, I, they mentioned a whole bunch of school, uh, of schools. Um, do you get involved with that or, or they, they, do they refer to you when, when, cause I registered my, my kid, but. Uh, oh, good, 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 but, good. So there's a couple of different things. So the summer youth employment, mm -hmm. um, for our school, most of the program is being facilitated by the Sunnyside Community Services. They, did your child fill out the forms? Yeah, yeah, we, okay. we, the deadline was like, I, I think on two days ago, yes. we completed, yeah. Recently. Do me a favor, have the, I forget, who have your son or daughter, I'm sorry, I don't remember right uh, now. Ruben, but, Ruben Suarez. Oh, right, 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 have Ruben go to um, room 104, and the staff from communities, Sunnyside Community Services, they'll, they'll go over the form and information with uh, Ruben, because, they have like a the confirmation process to make sure everything is signed and done wow. right. But they then they and then they have to, to check some other things out. So they are facilitating the matching of students with the summer youth employment. Oh, okay, it's, so, it's so still about uh, room one hundred and four, down by the uh, ROTC. One hundred and four, room, room yeah, one hundred and four. Okay, so then they will guide me better than more my my questions that I have. There. Well, yeah, they they'll be the ones that actually process the forms. So if there's something missing or a signature or something, that'll slow everything down. So they have that, plus they need to check the enrollment in the program. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, okay. And, and again on the screen, sorry, Mr. Jackson, again on the screen, a reminder of our email. If anybody has any questions, feel free to take a screen, a picture of our screen right now. And that is the email address. For any questions oh i wish you luck with all the uh, donations because that makes it more practical i guess yeah right it definitely makes it a lot easier yeah uh-huh no one carries cash anymore <laughs> thank you so much miss gloria thank you okay thank you for everything good night bye good night everybody email good me night. Questions. good night good night good night good night good night Bye, right, thank you. Oops, not the meeting. Good night. Hello, oh, that looks good. What is that? Soila has a. <laughs> oh, we can stop recording, by the way.